Hello everyone. As you all know, the Forging update has been released on the Alpha Network for about a week now, and with Skyblock finally showing its first bit of content into the newer version of Minecraft, a lot of players are confused about what mods to run for 1.21 exactly. And that's where I come along. Considering the fact that I've been playing Hypixel Skyblock on 1.21 for the past half a year, I've gained to know a little bit of knowledge on what mods are pretty useful on this later version, and quality of life mods that can also help with playing Skyblock. I'll mainly be recommending which mods to get, and also how to install those mods. Alright, let's start with the Skyblock related mods first. Everything that I will be covering will be posted in the description below, or my Discord server. Okay, so the main Skyblock related mod for 1.21 has to be Skyblocker most definitely. You can open the Skyblocker menu by just typing slash Skyblocker in the chat to see all the different features within the mod. It has a bunch of the 1.8 features such as showing all the average NPC prices and item sales, item protection, changing the hitboxes back to 1.8 for farming purposes, experiment solvers, fishing helpers, chocolate factory, a lot of different dungeon features for like puzzle solvers, score messages, best profit calculator. I of course can keep going, there's mining, there's farming, crimson isles, you can all look through this yourself when you get the mod. There are a bunch of custom UI and visuals that they have added themselves into the mod that I like some of them, not all, but personally some are very nice. They have a custom tab list which you of course can alter and change, a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't like it, you can have this on or off. They also have a fancy auction house HUD, which I'm honestly not really that big of a fan of. I mean, some people might like it, but a lot of people that I've shown this to are not a fan of it, and I personally am also not really much of a fan of it. One of the things I am personally a fan of is that they have custom mob health bars for every single mob, which honestly, I think that looks a lot better than just having a random number above a person's head. Oh, I just gave someone a gilded buff. Um, that's nice. But yeah, that's honestly pretty silly. But I think the custom health bars are a really nice change. So I would recommend using those, personally. There's also a custom party finder menu. I personally like it. I think it doesn't look too bad. You I mean you can filter everything to how you want it as normal. And yeah, I mean, I think this looks pretty cool. I'll leave the rest for you all to figure out what you want to change and do. But if you do have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section and I can do my best to help you out. The next Skyblock mod I want to talk about is mainly Aaron's mod. It's the same method of opening, just typing slash Aaron mod in chat to open the configuration menu. And it has a bunch of like other normal Minecraft features and stuff, but the main part for it is that it has M7 features. That's the main reason people use this. Like it has glowing dragons, dragon boxes, spawn timers, health display. And yeah, it also has Chroma Enchant, so for the people that love their rainbow enchants, it has that, of course. But yeah, it doesn't have that many Skyblock features, just like Skyblocker, but if you play a lot of M7, you're definitely gonna want this. The next Skyblock mod would have to be Cookies mod. You just type slash cookie in chat to open the mod config. It has a bunch of good features as well. For example, it has scrollable tooltips, storage preview, hide armor for the people that don't like their armor showing in F5, and hide a bunch of your armor bar, food, health bar, etc. It has party commands for people that like to type exclamation warp and all that stuff. They also have helpers for like things like tracking how much profits in a chest. They have mining features, they have farming features. There's also a bunch of dungeon features like terminal solvers, there's puzzle solvers, spirit leap menu and stuff. I think they have their own map and a bunch of other renders. You can also just browse through the mod and see how everything works, set the colors for each class, etc. I definitely would recommend getting the mod. This mod is mainly based off of NEU and has the same method as the, all the other mods with opening the mod menu with just typing slash for mint in the chat. It basically has an identical GUI like NEU for their config menu and firmament as well. They have fairy soul helpers like waypoints, there's fixes for stuff like your auto sprint. You can turn off hurt cam but you can also turn that just off in normal minecraft, just turning off damage tilt. You can hide potion effects which a lot of people have issues with when they swap over to 1.21 because they don't like seeing the potions in the top right of your screen where it normally is because that's just a normal 1.20 thing or on the sidebar when you open your inventory. They also have party commands and they also have quick commands like joining M7 or any dungeon floor easy or Kudra. Also have a quick way to go into the dungeon hub just like how any you does. They also have image preview which I honestly haven't really tested but I don't really know how that works since Hypixel almost blocks every single link tree or image or whatever link. But that's pretty interesting. 
They also have a bunch of other features such as item hotkeys, item rarity cosmetics, which is like showing the background color of the rarity on an item, display the active pet, price data, slot locking, and binding, which is very useful and a lot of people use on 1.8, of course. Inventory button, storage overlay, which I love. I am very big on any use storage HUD. I love it. So this was very nice for me to get back on 1.20. And save cursor precision, which is very useful. But you can also turn this on Aaron mod if you don't want to use firmament. And basically what save cursor position is, is that when you were like, let's say changing pages, if you didn't have that on, the on 1.20, it would automatically like center itself back like over here. And it's really annoying to like have to constantly like flick your mouse all the way back over to the next page on each click. So that's very nice to have. It also has stuff for events like carnival features. There's century raffle stuff, which I don't really think is useful because that's not going to be a thing for another hundred years. Anniversary stuff, Diana stuff. I will say that the Diana mods and features on 1.20 are in comparison to 1.8 they're pretty bad or just not really as good the skyblocker one isn't that good in my opinion and the one that firmament has isn't really that good as well mainly for the uh waypoint highlighter for burrows and stuff and like the solvers i will say the warp nearest guy is very nice that is it works 90 percent of the time i'd say I tried using all the Diana mods yesterday during Jerry Diana and it honestly didn't go too bad. I would say that if you are planning on doing Diana on 1.20, then the best, most enjoyable way to do it, even though it's still really scuffed in comparison to 1.20, because we don't have stuff like send waypoints for whenever there's an Inquisitor and stuff like that. But there is, of course, a waypoint highlighter for anyone that sends a waypoint and will show like a little head above their thing, which is very nice. For Diana purposes, I would have to say that you definitely want to have the warp to nearest burrow from firmament because that is extremely useful and there's no other mod really that does that for right now but the solver for like knowing where each burrow is from skyblocker and from firmament are really bad and scuffed but i still have the firmament one turned on mainly because the warp to nearest burrow doesn't work if you don't have it turned on i would have to recommend that if you want something like find the nearest burrow you would want to use the lunar one because that's the one i use because lunar also has a built-in skyblock mod as i showed previously it has a skyblock mod for tracking diana burrows and out of the three that is probably the best slash most accurate one it is still pretty scuffed but yeah there's not much to say that it's better than the other two in my personal experience the fact doesn't change though, the 1.8 Diana mods are far better than the 1.20 ones, but I'm really hoping that people will start improving on making them better when Skyblock Forging update mainly comes out and people start to, you know, develop more 1.21 mods. I heard that Sky Handy is slowly converting itself to 1.21 and that's really nice to hear. But yeah, that's a little bit of my little rant for Diana because Diana is like one of the really few things I still do in this game, so it has a lot of impact on me on Diana mods. As it stands for right now, that's like the main Skyblock mods that we have right now for 1.21. To my personal knowledge, there might be one or two more, or maybe there's more than that, but I don't really know of them, or they might just not be as popular as these four, but these are the main mods that you would want. I will say though that on the right side of my screen, there's supposed to be a item list here with a search bar, just like NEU. And that comes from Firmament, of course. I just don't have it on right now because you need to download a separate mod to make it work. And I just have that mod on my folder right now. And on the Firmament page, they say that the mod is based off of NEU, as I mentioned before. And it's so based off of NEU that it kills your FPS a little bit too. Mainly the item list scales your FPS. So I just have it off right now because I don't use it that much. And I like having frames. So yeah, for people that want that, I'll put the mod down below so it works, but yeah. I won't really go into all the performance mods, such like Sodium and having Fabric, of course, and all that stuff. I'll have a whole link to every mod in my folder so people can copy it if they want to. I'd say the only extra mod I'm going to cover is Command Keys, 
which is basically just a chat macro for people that like having keybinds set to like commands and stuff. You can open the menu by going into your options and controls, keybinds, scroll all the way down and you'll see command keys right here. And if I just press K, it'll open the screen to having a bunch of just chat macro set up like you would have in SkyTills or any other mod that has that feature. Now that I covered every single mod pretty much, let's go over on how you can download these mods. Again, I'll be covering how to do this in the mod riff launcher, and I'll be covering how to do this in Lunar Client for people that want to go to Lunar. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is head over to the mod riff website, which is basically just modriff.com, and you're going to want to get the mod riff app, which is basically just clicking this and you can just download it from here. After installing the Modriff app, what you're going to, going to do is click Discover Content and then filter it to Mod Packs. The reason we're doing this is because that Skyblocker itself has a mod pack that they made that just has a bunch of mods actually installed already. Performance mods, Skyblocker mods, is the ones I've mentioned before, quality of life, and just a bunch of useful things. It just makes everything easier and you don't have to download everything manually. So you're just going to want to install this. Once it's done, it's going to look a bit like this, and this is pretty much almost everything you need. If you want to add more things, just click install of content, and for example, cookies mod isn't in here, so this is cookies mod. You just click install, and it'll just install itself. It's installed now. You go back to the mod folder, and it's right there. And yeah, that's pretty much how to put everything in your mod file. You just press play, and it's that simple pretty much. Okay, so I'll be explaining how to get your own little mod pack working on Lunar Client as well. What you're going to do is go back to the Mod Riff website and do practically the same thing you did on the launcher. Go to Mod Packs and then search up Skyblocker. You'll see the mod pack over here. Just press Download, select Game Version, and just do 1.25. Either version works. I'm using the beta right now, but if you don't want to, you can just download any one of those. Just click Download. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the mod pack, what you're going to do is go to Versions. And then click the mod pack tab in the top left over here and then you're going to gonna open your files and then see you have here the skyblock mod pack you want to gonna drag it over into lunar and then copy and just press install mod pack it's just that simple once it's finished you'll be greeted with a menu like this and then you just click the mods and you can see all the mods that's in the skyblocker menu inside of this menu as well once you finish the download, you're going to be greeted with this menu and then you can just click mods to see all the mods being in here as well. You'll see that some of the mods that aren't in the normal pack are in this file right now, like firmament and cookies mod and command keys. That's mainly because I already had the skyblocker mod installed and it kind of overlapped because it had the same name. So the mods are already in here, but they won't be when you, of course, put it in there and you have to manually put it in. And to manually put in those mods, you can just press explore mods which will bring you back to the mod riff tab and you can just like install like cookies mod again for example and just click download and just get the correct game version which will go down into your downloads file and you can just do the same with just dragging it out of your download file into your mod file and it'll just put it right inside of here. Now I do need to note that there are some mods in the skyblocker mod pack that aren't compatible with lunar and that will instantly crash the game slash not really work. So the mods that you want to remove out of the mod file, if you're going to play on Lunar, is you want to uninstall chat patches. You want to uninstall gamma utils because Lunar already has built-in Fulbright. You want to uninstall immediately fast. You also want to uninstall Zoomify because there's already a Zoom mod inside of Lunar. And yeah, those are pretty much the four only mods that you want to uninstall out of the pack so that Lunar actually will boot up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, okay, I hope this video is quite helpful to people, and it's quite a long video, so hopefully it's not too annoying for people. But I want to briefly cover everything. I hope I did. I think I did. But yeah, this video was supposed to come out in March, but I've kind of been procrastinating for a long time, but people already are more used to that, so better yet than having it out than never, I guess. Thank you so much if you watched the video fully through. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video. I really would like to get closer to my goal of hitting at least 10k subscribers by the end of the year, which is quite hard when I don't upload, but I think it's still doable. But yeah, see you all in my next video. Goodbye.